The California Black Chamber of Commerce Foundation was created as a public charity that's dedicated to education, training, community growth, and youth development. Here to tell us more about their annual legislative business brunch is legislative liaison for the California BCC, Tracy Hurd Parker. Tracy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yes, of course. We're very excited to talk about the California Black Chamber of Commerce and the recent brunch that you all just had. Amazing for Black History Month. It really Month. was. It was. Oh my gosh, I'm excited to talk I'm, about I'm that. I'm excited. I'm excited to talk about a little bit about the chamber. Uh, the chamber is an absolute necessary resource for small businesses. 97% um, of African American businesses are micro or mini micro businesses and they make less than $100,000 a year. The chamber is a resource to get them to the next level. Most everybody wants to get to the next level, so we are there for them, um, connecting them with resources to get federal government contracts. Um, there are local entities that help with um, you know, resources as far as money is concerned, yeah. locations, uh, just getting to the next level. And sometimes small businesses need that because they don't know where to go to get those types of resources. Mm -hmm. And I came from the legislature, so that's why I enjoy what I'm doing with the chamber now because I feel like when I was there for 26 years, there was no real connect between the two. And what I'm doing is trying to build that bridge between um, these bills and these laws that are being created that affect small business owners and no one kind of knows how we get there. Mm. So I want them to see uh, how you get there and what role they can play in making a difference on things that pertain to them and their businesses in their communities. Well, that's amazing. And thank, thank you so much for that breakdown, too. I, I love the fact that you connected the two. Now, the California Black Chamber of Commerce also just celebrated an annual business brunch. We did. Tell me all about the event. So it was amazing. I know people say amazing, but it really was amazing. Um, we had... 15 honorees and each member of the California Legislative Black Caucus picked a honoree from their district, a small business. And then Jay King is our president at the chamber. He was able to pick at large businesses where there was no black representation um, in those communities. So he was able to pick five different um, businesses to honor. And so what we did was uh, we brought them up to Sacramento um, it happened to be a day when uh, Leonardo DiCaprio was in town, so helicopters were... Really? Yes, they're oh, wow. filming a movie. and but, but it did not take away from what we Good. were doing. The emphasis was on black businesses and their allies. So not just black businesses, anyone that is helping to support and offer guidance and offer, offer resources was a part of this event. So they came up, um, they were all honored, and they had an amazing time. Food was good, the show was great, and we want to do that every year moving forward mm -hmm. um, just so we can really put them out there and they can gain um, customers and, and recognition and, and just become a part of the community like they really want to. That's beautiful, too. Thank you. And you mentioned, you know, the business part about it. It's really all about supporting black-owned businesses here it in is. the Bay Area. It is. Why is that important, Tracy? So I believe it's important because um, if we don't, they won't exist. Mm -hmm. um, there are some, there are some really serious statistics that Jay could just rattle off, <laughs> but yeah. uh, but it tells you um, that most black-owned businesses are out of business within 18 months, and mm -hmm. that's unfortunate. Um, I think if we all support, mm -hmm. because if you think about it, African American people support all businesses. That's what we do. So we want the same support back, so we could stay in business and grow and grow and be vital in our communities. So yeah, I think it's it's extremely important that we support these businesses. I think that um, you have to go and look. They're not just out there. You're not going to know. Usually, when you go to a business. You don't know who owns the business. So sometimes you have to do a little research if you want to be um, deliberate in what you're doing. You have to find out. You have to ask questions and get out there and, and support the black-owned businesses and their allies. Well, some people might be listening to this, Tracy, and say, well, how can I support? What ways do you recommend people do that? So I think that if they are not business owners, we need you to go to these businesses and support them. That's just in your communities, especially. Um, across California, because we're the California Black Chamber of Commerce. So we're looking from, you know, the top of Eureka all the way down to 
the border, yeah. you know, San Diego. Yeah. So we, we want to be sure that we're giving resources and support to everyone across the board. So I think that um, getting a hold of the chamber, the California Black Chamber of Commerce, it's www.calp.com bcc.org or uh, we also have a radio station which is pretty cool oh tell us we do kdee 97.5 uh it is a radio station that the chamber owns and um we advertise and push and give people a platform to speak on what they're doing in the, their communities and and just inviting people to come out and be a part of it because it's it's important to do that it really is yeah well miss yeah. tracy thank you so much for joining us today thank you for having me we do appreciate yeah. it yeah no i appreciate you thank of you of course